Hot dogs are an American food staple, and every region smothers them with flavors unique to their area. In Tucson, even northern Mexico has its own style of hot dog. Today, Amanda here will try her first ever Sonoran hot dog. Arturo Contreras and Marcos from El Huero Canelo join us, and they brought us some of these deliciously grilled treats. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in. Our pleasure. Mucho gusto. Our pleasure. And Our muchas pleasure. gracias for the food. Yes, we've been excited all week about this, I will admit. So tell us, how, how long has El Huero Canelo been in Tucson? What's the story? It started since um, 1993. Mm -hmm. It started in a small car, about 10 by 6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now it's just about three locations in a meat market. Wow, so mm -hmm. you obviously have brought Sonoran dogs, but mm -hmm. what are some of the other things you specialize in? Oh, we have a specialist in carne asada. Oh. Fresh charcoal broiled meat mm -hmm. on tacos, burros, tostadas, caramelos, not tostadas, tortas. Mm -hmm. And Arturo, so what makes a Sonoran dog a Sonoran dog? What makes it Sonoran? Yes. It's been nice and wrapped in bacon. Okay. Also, the bread. That makes a difference. A special brand. And you make your own bread? Yes, we and do. Tell us about that. Well, do you have a, a bakery and a tortilla factory down in Magdalena? Okay. And every other day, the truck comes and brings fresh products. So that's another thing that makes it so good, that we make mm -hmm. our own bread. Mm -hmm. Oh, delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to be honest, I cannot wait any longer because I've been waiting all week to try this. And you are going to walk us through, like, what is really in a Sonoran dog? Well, it's right here. We have it right here. Okay. I know Marcus was w very reluctant to speak, and now you're, you have a microphone <laughs> yes. on, Marcus. And he's now, like... First, you get the bread. Uh, the bread, you open it up a little bit by little. You get the frank. You put it in there. Okay, and that's wrapped in yeah. bacon. Yeah, right. And you got to make sure the, the frank is all the way in there. Then you go with the beans, whole beans. Then we go with the grilled onions. Yes, I love grilled onions. <laughs> then we go with the fresh onions. Ooh, grilled and fresh. Yeah, right. And then we go with tomato. Tomato. And then here comes the last part. Okay. We'll go with some mayonnaise. <laughs> Mayo. It's like a little artistic creation. Yes. Right, uh huh. And what's that? Jalapeno sauce. Oh, you give it the kick. <laughs> the kick it needs. Marcos, the other flavor. Amanda loves it super spicy. I, I do. The spicier oh, the yeah. better. <laughs> and this is our Sonoran dog. Oh my gosh. What is the history of a Sonoran dog? Well, usually it's uh, uh, down in Hermosillo, Sonora. Okay. Outside the university, there's hundreds of cars. Is that where it started in Hermosillo? Yeah, it seems to be like in Hermosillo, it's you know, capital of the hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And then they get spread from there on and cross the border, and, and <laughs> here we are. Mm. What do you think? I haven't even, I haven't even reached the dog yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just had the bread. The bread is delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take another and, bite. And you guys, um, you cater as well. So if someone wants to have a party and wants you to bring the Sonoran dogs, how many can you do? Well, we've been doing since 50 to uh, two, 3,000 hot dogs and a catering. Wow. wow. And are you busy with catering as well as the restaurants? Right. Especially we have a very successful month with our graduations. Mm -hmm. This, whoa, that's streaming. When you do catering, what do you find people usually want? Do they re usually mm. focus on the Sonoran dogs or do they want a little bit of everything? It all depends on what they like. Sometimes they can do, we can do a mix, carne asada and hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And some they just plain hot dogs. We do it uh, in the morning, at noon, afternoon, midnight. After the party, you have a party, a wedding. We go up here, there, so everybody can go and sober up and go home. Mm. Sober up. <laughs> these, are <delicious. laughs> these are delicious. And I have heard that these are That's great um, late night food mm -hmm. as well. Right. I really love all of the flavors on this. I am so excited. I have successfully uh, tried my own dog. I'm a, I, I need to try a dog. I mean, oh, Amanda yeah. and I are close, but yeah, we're, we're not that close. We're not <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> share I'm just kidding. <laughs> we've, we've definitely shared before. Okay, tell us about these peppers. What well, kind those are they? Is companion with a uh, with a hot dog. So it's a yellow hot. They call yellow yellow hearts, and and uh, it's traditional to have a mm -hmm. chile guerito on the side. And, is, are those uh, really hot? Uh, it's, these are like, like cheese. Like cheese? Yeah, sometimes it's too salty, sometimes it's too creamy, so these are sometimes mild or sometimes they're hot. I think you need to try one, Amanda. I knew you were going to say that, and I was actually <laughs> going to force you to try it. <laughs> Just because. I'll try it. Okay, That's no, all I'll right. try it. That's gotta... all right. 
<laughs> we have the water ready for you. <laughs> you do. Good. Actually, you put more it's of fun. the hot dog bun in your mouth if it's too hot. I know, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Is it hot? Oh, my God. Uh-oh. <coughs> put some bread Whoa. in your mouth. Put some See? bread in your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. That is like... See? That is, that is crazy hot. Mm -hmm. like, Gentlemen, Arturo, Marcus, thank you so much for letting Amanda have a little sampling of what started as a small cart and is right. now three restaurants. Right. Plus a meat market, too. Yes, plus the carniceria. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming in. Oh, it's our pleasure. Us. Our and pleasure. There are great. three locations for El Huero Canelo that you can see on your screen right now. To learn more about them, you can call 807 9620 or go online to elhuerocanelo.com. Again, that's 807 9620 or elhuerocanelo.com. You need some tequila. Oh, oh my God, I've you never tried tequila. anything so spicy as those peppers. I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> Well, still ahead on the morning blend, we'll toss our Tennessee whiskey and we're tossing back some Mexican moonshine. Plus, a book compilation of all the greatest films shot in the old Pueblo coming up next.